All right, so with the new iPhone 5 came the new apps map, uh, I believe designed or uh, ran, ran powered by TomTom Tom instead of Google Maps. Um, they are having some problems. Uh, give them a break. I mean, it's their new first app, so cut them some slack here. Either way, blame TomTom, Tom, not Apple, not iPhone. Anyways, here is the new maps. Um, I've opened it up. Uh, for example, I looked up Brick of Miami. And when you start off with, you'll get the plain old normal uh, looking app or map. Uh, you can double click just by um, zoom in by double clicking, or you can just pinch in and pinch out. And from in here, you can uh, do many things. You can look around, obviously. Um, now, if you slide over here, you got plenty of options over here. For example, you can show traffic and they'll give you a good uh, route or a better route. Um, also, if you click over here, you can click hybrid and you will get the hybrid map. Or you can get just a plain old satellite map. Um, from here, if you press the 3D button, you will be taken into a 3D mode. And if you click once and you hold this, oops, you click once and hold it, you can drop a, a pin like I just did to remove it. You remove pin. But you can hold it and just turn it around like this so you can get a nice cool view of the 3D. Now everybody's gagging over the new 3D view. Uh, the way to get into the new 3D view. Or you would just go over here and click satellite. And then click this little button right here where it shows the buildings for a 3D view. And as you can see, it gets a very beautiful view of Miami. Use this to swipe through like this. Let it load. Get a beautiful view. Wow, look at that. I must say that's pretty pimp. So you hold, you turn. If you hold down and you turn and you go up and down, like I just did. That's the Miami River right there. Let me back up by pinching out. Now, I believe they have a new uh, talking system where you can use the GPS. Ooh, this is the new Marlins Stadium for the Florida Marlins. We'll just let it load. Whoa, cool. Let's twist the turn. Pretty badass. Anyways, like I said, um, if you're looking for direction, it will give you talk to talk to talk turn uh, corner corner to corner. We'll be trying that out in just a few seconds. Just wanted to. So, for example, if I wanted to go to, go to a Tobacco Road and get drunk tonight, I click Tobacco Road. I'll look for it. It'll find it right there. I can put in 3D if I want to. Get a better view of the of this bar. If you don't like uh, the bird's eye view, you can just touch and swipe up like this. Oops. Or you can go up and down, whichever way you want. So we get a closer view, more three D view. And I personally think it looks amazing, and I think it it runs extremely smooth, it's extremely fast. So if I wanted to get from here, if I wanted to get here, I would click here. This is their phone number. It gives you the nice little view, moving view over here. Wow, ain't that beautiful? Look at that. You got reviews. You got photos. Info. So I would go directions from here. Yeah, cool. It even tells you if it's good for kids or not. Um, directions to here. And 
and it will start automatically. Now, if you prefer to uh, just not use the maps and read your way there, like some people do, I kind of like just reading it because I know my way around. Uh, it'll just tell me how to get there. You can take just just read it, memorize it, and go. It it won't start in 3D. It will give you three three alternate routes that you can choose from. Press 3D to get a 3D view. Once you're in the car, um, you got your map. Um, what you can do is look around. If you want to find your north, which way north is, you just press this little button right here. And it'll point you towards north. But if you want, you just press start. Starting route to South Miami Avenue. So in a... South on Northwest 32nd Avenue. So in a, in a very unsexy voice, he will tell you on how to get around. So that's how we do it. Let's give it a little shot, see if it works. Alright. Turn right onto Northwest 31st Avenue. Telling me to turn right, but I don't want to. So let's see what it does. In half a mile, turn right onto Northwest 27th Avenue. All right, we'll try that. All right, as you can see, I'm in the same intersection. You see those four little clovers right there, and there are four little clovers right there. So it's working fairly well as long as my GPS doesn't fall off my dashboard right here. So it tells me to turn right. Seems to be working just fine. Uh, I'm not gonna go all the way to Tobacco Road because I'm not in the mood to get drunk right now. But we'll find another little location we can go to and see what happens if when we get there. But let's see what happens if you actually just select it. You find the place. See, I'm over here. The the Miami Marlins Stadium is over here. Hold it to put a little pin on it. Uh, sorry. Click on this, and it will reroute us there, and we find it. Let's put it in 3D mode. And we'll press start. Starting route to Orange Hall. Turn right onto West now, Flagler Street. If you heard, left if you heard, it says, it says the Orange Bowl. It's not the Orange Bowl anymore, so they're kind of outdated. It is in 3D. So we'll turn over here. Let's just pass this person. Because it's traffic hour and I am driving in the worst time ever. In 600 feet, turn left onto Northwest 27th Avenue. Okay, I will do. 27th, is that light coming up? So I got point nine miles left. To Northwest 14th Avenue. Okay, so I'm guessing there's a uh, Miami Marlins Mar Mar game right now because I think I just ran into traffic. And there's this guy right here trying to make me park. I ain't parking. Alright, so the stadium is right here coming up. As you can see up there. Now it's telling me to continue to go, but I'm not going to continue to go. Alright, so I had to put my camera down because it, there was a billion cops outside for this, for this game. And I'm here standing with a tripod in one hand and cameras on the other. They were, they were looking at me pretty hard, so I turned around and said forget it. Anyways, it took me to, a, it took me to the stadium. Uh, there was a bunch of cars all over the place. I didn't want to see them, see them, see me driving like an asshole, like a big jerk off in the street. I'm sure it was a nuisance already. Anyways, um, so I left. So I'm gonna press end. Um, I guess my current location is right here, right off the stadium because I drove away. 
But as you can see, the stain is right there. Put it on 3D mode. And you'll see the stadium right there. Whoa. Wow, that thing is super crisp. This screen is absolutely beautiful. I love it. Look at that. So yes, it does work. It is a little quirky when you're using the route or the search address. Um, but if you if you actually like just look around, select a location, drop a pin, and route it to that section, it does work. It does work fairly well. Uh, it is extremely accurate. It is you are on 27th Avenue when you're actually on 27th Avenue so GPS works just fine um, overall I think it's a great program I love it I can't wait for the updates for the fixes but like I said that's just software problems no need to be bitter and put us down over it so anyways peace out have a great day don't forget to subscribe have a good one